holes. Sealant of choice, I like orange seal. Typically, I've had good luck with just using one of these. No different now. I use no soapy water at all on the sidewalls. Then I just plug my pump in and go to town. And that's the sound you want. Rocky Tech going up this hill. More slop. Yummo. Oh, oh, oh. At this point, I noticed no difference in how well this thing semi-slick climbs compared to the old tire which was a still an E13 but a downhill tread downhill compound let's see how she corners Almost to your float trail, almost to the fun trail, almost to it, getting to it, woo! It's a little hard to hit that one sometimes. Oh, she held well. Oh, <laughs> holding well. Semi slick is impressing me. Mud in the face. Little nappy bridge, always. Rougher in a cub. Hanging on tight. Legs start getting tired through there. Whew. Rock. Down to the rocket drop it. Oh, uh, through the slime drop. Yeah. Whew. Whew. Okay. So for the past two years, or probably a little bit more than two years, I've been using E13's tires uh, with really good results. So uh, I've been using the old version, which you will see here in this clip of the semi-slick and the original tire design, uh, tread design, side by side. And you can see that there's quite a bit of difference in the uh, in the semi-slick, but the other tire is uh, the same, the one I used to use on the front and the rear. 
and it's been a very good performing tire but now they've redone uh, a, a little bit of a new tread pattern that's uh, and i'll show you that right here and it's more of a rounder profile it's got a stickier compound it works very very good and i've been very happy with it so my review is not so much of the old tires since I've used them for so long already. That's kind of my testament to uh, how much I've liked them. But the new versions uh, I've been running more recently. Here's uh, some video footage of me at uh, Oak Mountain at an enduro race, both in the dry and the wet. You said that line? Yeah, yeah it is pretty smooth. Smooth. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll also include some footage from Windrock where I recently went and it's very recent. So the front tire, the new version, has been super impressive. It's actually um, very good. I think it's better. I think they have improved yeah. upon the tire. It, uh, it transfers or transitions from the center knobs that are bigger to the side knobs smoother now and so it feels really good. And I didn't think it would be that much difference but it's, it's pretty remarkable and I, and I do want to give them a really good review. And, uh, and tell you that if you're looking for something uh, new, E13 and this new design is quite good. Now, all the footage that you saw at Briar Creek on the new semi-slick, I can say that it does hook up extremely well. I was a little skittish about them at first, but on that downhill section of trail that I took, I actually PR'd by quite a bit. The one place that I do think that the semi-slick lacks is in braking, shown right here in this quick video clip. <laughs> got a little heavy handed on the brake what i said in the video clip was that i was a little heavy handed on the brake but having thought about that i'm like i don't think it was because that wasn't the only time that that happened where uh, i got a little bit into the brake a little bit like i'm used to doing and uh, so it locks up a bit quick and so it, it can skid out from under you you know and it was where i was braking was not a good place to brake anyway i was into the turn it was a tight, fast turn, and I come into it kind of hot. And so rather than braking on the straight line first and then taking the corner, I kind of was braking inside of the turn, and so it was real quick to, to lock and skid the back tire. So that's the big difference, I think, that I saw. It's not in climbing. It's not in the tech. It's not in anything else. It just it rolls smooth. Uh, I didn't notice a big weight factor uh, being different, even from the original downhill tire that I had been running on the back. And I know that that tire is heavier, but I didn't notice a serious amount of difference in the weight, but I'm not, I'm not real sensitive to weight differences on the bike. There's one thing that E13 kind of lacks and that's in sizing. Uh, you get a 2.35 or a 2.4 and they're practically the same size tire, but you can't get a 2.6, 2.8 or any, if you're looking for something really big, a lot more volume, uh, you're not gonna find it with them. So if you're looking for a good tire this year, next year, <laughs> if you're looking for a good tire, and you want a good option that hooks up real well, you're not super weight conscious of things, E13 makes a killer tire. I highly recommend the new tread pattern like I have up front. I'll show that again. Um, it's really good. And this is Mopo, uh, their stickiest compound. And in the video description, I'm going to leave you a link to e 13 site. If you go to any of their tires on their site and you choose one to look at, there's a chart and it shows you the casings. It shows you the different tread patterns. It shows you all the stuff about the tire and a nice, neat little chart. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really, really look at me. I really hope everyone is safe. This COVID-19, this virus that's going around, I hope you stay healthy. And it's real typical for me to say, go out and live life big. And that's a tall order in this day and age right now. But as much as you can, go out and live life big. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. We'll see you later.